And we're going to go back over to Maui, where our Chelsea Davis has been all morning reporting on the unpredictable conditions there, too. Chelsea, I see you lost the rain jacket. <laughs> yeah, Lynn, uh, the rain has stopped. The wind has stopped. Actually, kind of getting a little hot wearing that rain jacket, so I took it off. But the real change in story is the surf that's behind me. We're in Bancucalo right now, and you can see the surf is pretty dangerous. It is very big, very unorganized, very choppy, very erratic. Now, this is a look at Kahului Harbor, and if you've been watching us since this morning, you know the dramatic difference. Earlier this morning, it was calm, and just in the past couple hours or so, I would say the waves have really ramped up. Also a huge difference is the visibility. Just in the last hour, it was impossible to see Haleakala. That mountain right there is Haleakala. Now you can see that there is visibility. It's clearing up quite a bit. You can see that the clouds are starting to go away, and that big dark cloud that was over our heads all morning long is slowly going away as well. I did get a text from someone in Kihei who said that they're seeing blue skies out on the south side. And so I believe it's starting to clear up at least what I've been seeing in the last hour. I can also see El Valley. It kind of looks clear from this vantage point as well. We are also at Waiehu, which is just on the road here, just on the coast. And um, it was packed as well with surfers and spectators. The winds, I don't think were, it was bad, but not as choppy. It was a little bit more organized. So a lot of surfers were going out. They're able to paddle out. Talking to some residents here, they said that it's just too rough, too unorganized. There's no way they're going to try to paddle out. But you know, the mayor is asking everyone to just stay indoors. This is not the time to be out in the waters. It's very dangerous, potential for life threatening conditions out here so and, and you can see just how uh, messy and um, unpredictable and inconsistent it's been all morning long so that's the latest not raining the wind has died down quite a bit but the surf is still ramping up yeah Back fluffy conditions out there Chelsea as you've been driving around we know officials are telling people stay home stay indoors shelter in place but what a what have the roads been looking like? Have they been super slick or has it been problematic as you've gone from one place to the next? Well, you know, if you've been watching, um, you remember earlier this morning when we were live at Kahului Harbor, we were just getting poured on there. It was just downpour for a good hour, maybe two straight. We were drenched. There was flooding on the roadways, and that was really scary. I did see several cars still driving up and down Kahului Beach Road, which was not ideal. That was, I would say, the, the brunt of it, the worst of it. So now, not too bad. Uh, the wind and the rain like i said has stopped so i don't see too much flooding as the issue as right now um, but yeah for the most part there's still a lot of people out on the roadways and uh, this is the best time to be at home with your families so um I interviewed the mayor last night we've been talking to him all morning long you know i interviewed uh, senator gil Keith Agaran, and we've been talking to Senator Kalani English as well. And, you know, they just want everybody to just stay indoors. Uh, you know, this is not something to take lightly. This is very seriously. You know, the, this morning at 8.30, the hurricane warning sirens went off, and we could hear it from all over the island. And that was just a warning to residents to shelter in place. You know, this is not the time to be out in the roadways. This is the time to take shelter. We've been saying all week long to get your supplies, get your food, get your, your water. You know, we've been talking to residents all day yesterday, and, and we saw them boarding up their windows, tying things down. And so this is what they were preparing for. We did see a lot of rain, a strong winds as well, and then now we're seeing the surf. Um, also got some calls and some texts from some friends out in uh, Hana, and, and they were seeing pretty bad conditions. So we know our friends and family members out on the east side uh, were impacted heavily this morning as well. Right, the road to Hana, just treacherous on a nice day, and I can't imagine what it's like right now. Chelsea Davis, live from Maui, thank you so much. And we're going to go 